Hey guys, it is Rika Misha. Uh, just coming to you guys today with uh, dinner. Uh, for dinner, I am cooking fried shrimp. And you see here, I have the Arida Zesty Curly Seasoned French Fries. So, let me show you guys the shrimp. You guys, um, if you didn't see it in my um, this week Thursday public haul, um, I did get the, <clears throat> excuse me, I did get the jumbo pre-cooked shrimp. So, I've already seasoned, y'all know how I do. I season and marinate my stuff overnight. So, I've already seasoned them, marinated them overnight. And of course, ooh, look at those shrimps. <clears throat> I gotta take y'all in and see these shrimps. Y'all will not believe it. Hold on a second, let me readjust everything here. Move the fries. And readjust those shrimp so y'all can see them. Hold on a second, I'm taking y'all in. Y'all gotta see these shrimp. Y'all gotta see the shrimp. Mm-hmm. Yes, y'all gotta see the shrimp. <clears throat> here they go. Taking y'all in so y'all can see the shrimp. So y'all can see how I got them seasoned. Okay. There you go. Okay, guys. And as you guys can see, they are nicely seasoned. Okay. <clears throat> Real quick, just want to tell you what I put on them. I did the Oybe Herb, the Oybe Blackant. You guys have seen me use these seasons. Oybe, the Oybe Herb, the Oybe um, Blackant. Um, I did a little salt, a little pepper, a little um, seasoned salt, um, black pepper. Did I say that? Oh, and also, after I did all my seasons and shook it up, I did add two tea... Now, this is up to you guys. This is optional. <clears throat> I did add two tablespoons of hot sauce, whatever hot sauce you like, and I did add half a cup of mustard. Half a cup of mustard. And you know what, guys? I, I mean, you guys may not want to do that. That's totally up to you. But that mustard and that hot sauce gives it a little extra. It gives it a little, a little spice. Not too spicy, guys, like you think. But it gives them a little bit more flavor. And trust me, the mustard doesn't make them taste like mustard like you think. It just gives them a little flavor. And sometimes when I fry my chicken, um, I season them with mustard. And sometimes when I fry meat or cook meat, I will put mustard on it. Mustard is just an extra uh, season an extra taste it doesn't really necessarily give it the mustard taste like you think so and that's old school if you guys have seen that on YouTube that's old school so anyway um so yeah that's what I seasoned the shrimp with they've been marinating overnight and you guys saw the Arita zesty fries uh, <clears throat> let me bring you guys out stop stop staring at the shrimp bring you guys out here bring you out hold on bring you out <clears throat> All right, and this is the Orida Zesty Curly Fries. They're going to be so good, guys. So the fries, I'm going to throw those in the air fryer so they can be cooking while we're frying our shrimp. And I've already got my flour over here. I'm ready to drop my shrimp in the flour, shake them up, and drop them in the grease. So we're ready. I'm ready to do this. All right, guys, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I am back. I've got my seasoned curly fries in the air fryer. I'm going to put in the air fryer. Let me see. They are ready. Don't forget, I put my aluminum foil down. I sprayed it with a little uh, canola spraying oil. And I sprayed the top of the fries. And I'm going to go ahead and set this. It's at 360. Mine's automatically set to itself for that. But I'm going to cut down on that time. I'm going to change that time. I'm going to leave it at 360 and I'm going to put it on 10 minutes. That's the uh, fries in the air fryer, guys. It's waiting. And you guys see, I've got my shrimp all nicely floured. Flour all over my shrimp. They are ready. Let's get them dropped in here because I know this oil is ready. Okay, oil, come on. And remember guys, these are the jumbo shrimp. Don't want to overcrowd your oil. Don't want to overcrowd it. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't want to overcrowd it. <coughs> Excuse me. That's what I've been using. My mom told me canola oil is healthier, so it's a healthier oil, so 
you know that's what I use and let me show you guys over here while the shrimp is getting itself all fried up over there let me show you guys my setup I use um, I put like a little plastic plate paper plate whatever you want to use um, I've got like the dollar plates um, it's that thick plastic you see the aqua it's like a little thick uh, plate um, plastic plate and then I have some napkins underneath that on top of that and then I have this is the strainer you know a strainer I have that and I've got my spoon oh uh oh I've always done it this way guys I don't put any paper in there because you know what let me tell you something when you put it in that on that paper it makes your food soggy it, I'm telling you I know makes your food soggy so I don't put anything in there I leave it empty and then I put my fresh fried shrimp in there and the oil you know the extra oil ones to the bottom down there my napkin collects it and your uh, shrimp are nice and toasty and crunchy so you guys will see that's how I've always done that I'm old school I've always done it that way let's get back over here to these shrimps and, and check on these shrimps and see what's going on just checking on them checking on them make sure everybody's all right you don't want to do too much leave them alone you don't need to do too much they already pre-cooked so we just need them to get nice and brown for us. And as you can see, they're already doing that. They are cooking fast. Don't want to mess with them too much. Don't want to mess with them too much. It don't take them long. As you guys see, they're already starting to brown. It don't take them long at all. Once you got that grease nice and hot. You know? Once your grease is nice and hot, that's it. And I just kind of flip them over. Leave them alone. They will cook themselves and they will start to float to the top. We want them to get all nice and brown. They're going to be so good. Alright guys, that's it. You see, you just throw them in the oil and cook them up. So, I'm going to go ahead and get everything cooked up and I'll be back guys. Okay guys, our timer just went off on the air fryer. Our curly fries are finito. That Spanish for finish, I hope. <laughs> uh, anyway, our curly fries are finished. And as you guys can see, they are nice and golden brown. Yes, delicious. All right, so we've got our fries done. I'm gonna take y'all in on those fries so you can see them real quick. Zoom in on them. Yes, yes, yes. They are nice, golden brown. Mm, look at them. You are in the pan. Yes, you are in the pan with the seasoned curly fries. Yes, become one with the fries. Don't eat them, just become one. Yes, the fries are done, guys. Seasoned fries are all nice and golden brown. All right, guys, uh, let me see what's going on with our shrimp over here. I've got the last batch of shrimp in there. You guys can see it is frying up. I'm getting ready to take this last batch out in a minute. But let me show you guys what we've been doing over here. Oh, 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 look, oh, look. Oh, look at the shrimp. Look at them. Oh, oh, I'm going to move the spoon out the way. Wait. Oh, look at them. Yes. Yes, big jumbo shrimp. It won't take long, about five, five minutes in your hot, hot grease. See, you see, see the nice size of that shrimp. That's a jumbo shrimp. Look at that, almost the size of the spoon. My little funny spatula, whatever you call this thing, spatula with holes, whatever. Look at that. Don't want to over fry your shrimps, then you know what? They won't be jumbo shrimps no more. They'll be a little bit of baby shrimps, lightly flour dropping in the oil five minutes all right let me see if this second batch this well actually this is the third batch let's see if this third batch is ready to come out okay back up guys back up back up let me see if they're ready they, i think they're ready but let me check and make sure hold on y'all sit right there and look all right let's see what we got it's our last batch guys last batch 
they almost ready they ain't quite done need a few more minutes to get a little bit browner a little bit more brown they almost ready they almost let me bring some up so y'all can see bring them up so you can see let me see if I can zoom y'all make sure y'all zoomed in that pan there let me zoom y'all in so y'all can see them shrimp bring the shrimp over here see shrimp they brown but not I need them a little bit more brown a little bit more by another minute or two by another two minutes I'm gonna take them out look at them look at them guys take y'all in so y'all can get the real feel of it watch this okay got y'all zoomed in now let's see if I can get a whole bunch of them up here for y'all look at that look at them nice and golden brown yep they ready to come out I'm gonna go ahead and cut this oil off cut the heat off and they are ready to come out they are ready they is ready they is ready to come out mm -mm -mm. all right I'm gonna go ahead and get them on out and drop them with these other ones so let me put y'all over here with these other ones so y'all can see what I'm finna do hold on yep y'all zoomed in y'all zoomed in on the shrimp I'm gonna go ahead and drop the other ones in so y'all can see oh y'all got a good y'all y'all can see real good okay hold on hold on sis get these other shrimps out this is my last batch I had three batches three batches of the Publix jumbo pre-cooked shrimp it's my last batch them shrimp look at that they look so good if y'all hear traffic I got my sliding door open I always have my house airing out especially when I'm frying food I always have a, the door open the sliding door open helps air your house out so your house ain't smelling like fish and shrimp and grease and fried chicken so all right guys y'all see him oh i'm gonna let y'all sit right there i'm gonna let y'all sit right there look at them shrimp yes let me get my oil off yes i'm gonna let y'all sit right there and stare at them fried shrimp mm -mm -mm. Look at them. Oh, look at them fried shrimp. Delicious. All right, guys, that's it. I fried all the shrimp. You guys saw me air fry the fries. That is it. Fried shrimp and um, curly fries. That's right. Zesty curly fries. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And you guys know, don't forget knowledge it's power thanks guys bye